good morning. Last night after dinner we came out to Lakeside and looked around. Saw some beautiful stars up in the sky. Saw the Milky Way, everything. They have a little place to look out over here. This morning we have checked out of our grand suite and we registered for the presidential suite back in January, it's September now, when we booked this, there is virtually no rooms left in Yellowstone. And so we kept upgrading and upgrading until we got something available. So we've got the Grand Suite today, last night, Presidential Suite tonight. Uh, they were nice enough to tell us just to leave our bags in our room and that they'd move them for us. We're gonna spend the day out at Old Faithful and seeing other sites and come back here at 4.30 we were already registered. They're just going to give us the keys when we get back and have dinner and spend another night in the beautiful Lake Yellowstone Hotel. Okay, and I wanted to point out that I'm seeing dandelions. I've never seen a dandelion this big before ever. That's that dandelion. And here is a normal sized dandelion. Pretty huge. So this is the back of the hotel. This is where we parked. And just want to show you that they also have these little cabins that you can stay in too. Uh, they sell out faster than the rooms in the hotel. But there you go. There's a lot of them. You can't see them all from here. Okay, Old Faithful is scheduled to go off in about 10 minutes. So we have got a lot of people. Waiting to see this. Yeah. Yeah. Look at yeah. the here. Okay, here we are. Water. The key with whether it erupts or not is if the friction opens its contraction is very small. So the point that it's not letting the water come out. So it gets super heated packed up kind of you know, that um, transition point to go straight flashes with the steam to get past that constriction. Okay, I'll run. Okay, Thomas. Okay. And you said it lasts how long? One to no, five minutes. When I say oh, so then we can probably do it. No. Yeah, when I say five minutes, right. it's, I mean, already right. it's starting to increase. So when I say five minutes, that's when Don't stand like, like a soldier either. <laughs> Don't give us a damn in order like a general. Down to very little on the Yeah. Okay, we made it to the Old Faithful Lodge. This is right by the Old Faithful Geyser, which is just that way. And we're going to have lunch first. Oh, this is what it looks like inside the Old Faithful Inn. We have a very high, not a very high, ceiling. We got in this restaurant opening down the front of the line. They're still seating people. Looks good. And here's the other part of the restaurant, the front part of the dining room. The very cool depiction of Old Faithful above the fireplace. cheeseburger. I'm having a huckleberry margarita. It's pretty good. Got a roast beef sandwich. And Darren got a little All right, a dessert just arrived. It looks good. Uh, that Sunday was really good. We just finished lunch. This is the line to get into that restaurant now. So there's always a wait. And it seems like the crowds go down when the geyser goes off and then get big when the geyser's done. So that's what just happened. This here is called a crow's nest. You can't climb up it. 
but they made this crazy thing that goes nowhere. It's not structurally sound anymore, so you can't climb it anymore, but it's still there as a feature. I think he's trying to, you know, own the space. It's got a pretty good view, too, of all the faithful over there. Old Fateful Inn is open all year. That's why they have this extremely pitched roof for the snow. All right, heading to some geysers. These are the upper basin geysers. Gonna kind of take a walk around this area. See what we can see. There we go. I have never seen a corn dog on a stick out in the wild. It's nice. Hi. Gosh, that was a big geyser going off there in the distance. Here at the Midway Canyon Basin, we've got some boiling hot springs water falling into a cold stream. We've got a bridge right across so you can come visit. Very cool. Here's the top of the Midway Basin and where the water's going down to that stream. Just a little note about this steam out here. It is about 85 degrees and this water is still so hot. we got steam billowing up. Some beautiful colors out here. Some really brilliant sapphire blue. Got some kind of milky blue. And over there we've got some rust colored and gold and white. This is from the top of the Excelsior Geyser Crater. Here we have the Grand Prismatic Springs. different lookout point. You can see so much in this whole area. All right, we're back at our hotel and this time we're in the presidential suite, number 98. And this is what we have in here. We've got a living room, a bedroom off to one side, little dining area, lake views from here, little kitchenette.
Bathroom number one. Which has a nice tub shower combo and a view to the lake. Air soaks in our other room too. Nice big closet. The master bedroom. With views out to the lake, of course. Little conference table. And great big shower. And a separate tub. All with views to the lake. Yep, we just have enough time to kind of freshen up and go down to our dinner reservations. It's a bison sleeping out here. Yeah. Right outside of my window. All right, so uh, we went and had dinner in the same restaurant, so I didn't go and, and get video there. We're probably going to go out at the lake again and look at the stars which we can't uh, get video of. So I'm just gonna sit here, drink a little glass of wine, make this, uh, put this video together, and we'll see you tomorrow, the last day in Yellowstone.